Hello friends, welcome to our today's session on Apache Spark. In this series, we are learning about the Spark scenario based questions. And in our today's video, we will cover a scenario based question on data time. So, this question is asked in recent times in Spark interview. I thought of sharing with you guys this question. So, that's why I am making this video. And the question is like, we have a input as a CSV file. And inside that, we have a date column. So here you can see like the date column and it is of different format. Like it is not the standard default format which the Spark can recognize. It is of uh, MMDDYY. Uh, so this is not the default uh, format that Spark can understand. So while we are reading it through Spark data frame, obviously it is not going to display it as a timestamp, but it will display it as a string column. So after reading it, we have several functions like we have uh, several inputs, uh, date functions and time functions that we can use and we can uh, change the schema like timestamp or else the date format as required. Uh, that is what we saw in our last video. Uh, we covered all the basic uh, inbuilt UDF that is available for the date and time in Apache Spark. If you have missed that video, I will give it an I button as well as in description. You can go ahead and watch that before moving on to this video. But here in this, the use case is different. Like while reading itself, while reading the CSV file using a data frame, I have to be able to uh, define the schema as a timestamp uh, instead of giving it as a string. Is it possible? So this is what the question is. I will reiterate it. I have a CSV file with a date column, uh, which is of uh, not a recognized format. I mean like not a default format for the Apache Spark to recognize it as a date or a timestamp. And while reading it itself, I have to understand, I have to make the Spark understand that it is a timestamp and I need to print the schema as a timestamp or date type. So this is what the question is. Let us see how we can solve this. I am using uh, Databricks as our platform and PySpark as a programming language to understand this concept. So that being said, let us move on to today's demo. Now we are into my Databricks communication account. I have logged in. I have also created the cluster, started it, and also created the notebook as well for our demo. So let me show you. I mean, let me walk you through each and every step to understand uh, the scenario and uh, the actions. So this is the input that we are going to take today. I will uh, provide the. I mean, I will provide the link in the description to download this file. Uh, for you guys to have a hands on on it. So, this CSV file is a personal transaction CSV. It will have some credit and debit information in it, uh, and also the card type, those things, and also date field that we see as well. Uh, it is having around 10,000 records in it. And uh, let's proceed further. As a first step, let us uh, directly read it as a CSV file itself. This is the usual method that we will follow while reading it. So, what we are doing, PF. Parker 3.4.csv and the option I am giving it as header of true and then uh, I am loading the file directly and printing the schema. This is just for our understanding purpose. Uh, as obviously we know like this is going to print the date as string. So the command is running and here you can see the schema has printed the date as string column but the output that we require is like the print schema has to return a value of date as timestamp or else the data. So that is what our requirement is. So now let us see how we can achieve this. Uh, we do have an option called inferred schema as you guys know. So let us try with the inferred schema first. So here I am adding an option called inferred schema of true. So if it is a default format, if it is a default format for the Spark to understand that as a date, then it will obviously pick it as a date column and it will be able to get it. But since the date field don't have a default format, I mean the default format is mm hyphen dd hyphen yyyy. But what we are having is mm slash dd slash yyyy. That is why it is not able to recognize it. So here it is again printing it as a string column. And let us see how we can achieve this. <coughs> Directly let us move on to the process. Like I am splitting it into a two methods. In the first method, I am having an option called timestamp format, and this timestamp format can be specified with the uh, format that we require. Like in a file, if we have a single 
time format for all the columns, single date format for all the columns, then this will be very, very handy. Like if I proceed, the, if I give the format like this and uh, within the timestamp format in the option, then it will be able to change the default format from uh, mm-yy, mm-dd-yy to the defined format that you have given within the package. So let me now run this. This will fix our issue. I mean, like if you need it as a timestamp, then obviously it will fix your issue. Here you can see it has converted the date as timestamp while reading itself. I am not doing anything after reading. I am simply uh, reading with the option timestamp format and I am providing the format that we require. But here if you have a, a multiple uh, formats, I mean like multiple date formats, then obviously we will not be able to use this. Uh, we have to do another step to convert the, uh, after reading we have to have another step to convert the format. But if you have only single format, then this will be very handy. Uh, but if I want to change it as a date, like I am able to change it as a timestamp, but if I want to change it as a date, I have something called date format. Let me run this. <coughs> so here if you see, I had given a date format, but still it is string. So this is an issue with the Apache Spark. Like uh, even if I give an option as date format and if I display the format correctly, there is some bug in it. So there is already a Jira existing to describe about this issue. I will uh, post this uh, Jira as well in the description. You can go ahead and uh, check out this. If there is any update on this issue and about this Jira, I will update in my future videos. Uh, for now, this date time, uh, we do have a different method to achieve it. But with directly with the date format option, it is not achievable. So for this, what we can do now is uh, we have to define a struct schema. So here you can see like I had given all the uh, columns and its uh, type. So instead of giving it as an input schema in the option, I am directly giving, I am directly defining a schema uh, for the file that I have. I am importing all the types in the first line and then I am providing a struct type, struct fields and then uh, I am reading the file now. So here you can see the syntax, path.read.format and you said that I am using CSV and since the first line is a header field, I am giving it as a header to ignore it and then uh, I am giving an option. Now I am providing the option for date format and I am giving the format value and I am giving a schema that I have declared above and here you can see in this I am declaring date as date type in struct field. So I am providing that schema here in the option and printing the schema and displaying it. Now let us see whether it is able to identify it as a date format, I mean date type. So here you can see now it is able to identify it as a date. So if you simply need it to convert it as a date, you can use the second method. But if you need it as a timestamp alone, uh, then you can go for the first method because you can directly mention it as a uh, timestamp format and then you can proceed further easily. So this is what uh, the one which I wanted to show you guys. Hope you guys understood this concept better. Uh, try this on your own machine. Have a hands-on to understand this under, understand this better. And uh, let me know if you face any issues. Uh, I will be happy to help you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content. Thank you.